Right, if you've got property, you're going to need a lawnmower. We're coming into mowing season. Uh, most people, when they look at a lawnmower, look at one of these uh, lawn tractors like what's behind me. But if you've got a lot of land to mow, you're going to need something bigger. Oftentimes, you'll want to get a zero-turn mower. So most people end up with a zero-turn like this. It's got lap bars on it. Uh, real convenient, real quick to mow. Um, really easy to get around obstacles because you can just turn on a dime. I've had one for years. They're awesome. Uh, Cub Cadet, though, is making these zero turns with a steering wheel. And there's some real benefits to them. They, they do way better on hills. Um, that's actually the big benefit. They're better on hills. But you still got that zero turn. So you're not doing the big round ovals, wasting a lot of time. And maybe you can't get around this garden bed because it turns too tight or something. And that zero turn just goes up and back, up and back real fast. So these guys with the steering wheel gives you that zero turn. Um, but a steering wheel so it doesn't get stuck on hills or in mud as easily as a lap bar style. So we're gonna check it out real quick. All right, we'll just start up at the front here. Good little grease circs on here. So that's for greasing this assembly. So these wheels turn easy, you don't get squeaky, poppy, grindy noises up there. Really handy. Little LED headlights, how convenient. Nice big grippy tires. These are pretty sweet. I mean, this is not a super expensive, big upgraded model. So that's really nice to have the great tires on that one. Uh, this guy here, you can spin this for helping to uh, level out your deck. That's some maintenance stuff there. So these are a steering wheel model. We recommend steering wheel zero turns for hilly terrain. The reason is your front wheels can take care of the turning while the rear wheels are just pushing you. Whereas on a regular zero turn, the rear wheels are both trying to give you momentum and turn you at the same time. So when you're turning, one of the wheels is going to stop. The other one's going to keep trying to push you. So now you have one wheel pushing you. Uh, if that wheel slides, you're toast. These guys, both wheels can push you on the rear while the fronts are guiding you. So it's got the, uh, the uh, hill stability from having kind of a lower center, center of gravity, but the uh, hill abilities of a uh, regular mower, because rear wheels are pushing the front wheels, but the, the advantage of being a zero turn, so these wheels will turn all the way to the side. Let me turn the steering wheel. So this machine will do a complete about face, which makes it way more efficient for mowing as well. So really nice there. So this guy right here, push this down. Deck moves up. You turn this knob and you can set your minimum deck height. So the deck can go up to drive over something and then it'll drop back down to the mowing height that you set. Really nice. I like these little rubber guards on here. These are sweet. This guy you can unscrew, open that up. You can get to your belts on your deck. Great for maintenance. Fifty inch deck. They make a few different deck sizes. Look on the website. So this is the Aero Force deck. A uh, lot of fancy uh, science surrounding that. I'll let you look at the marketing materials on the Cub Cadet website. Anti-scalping wheels. This little silver guy, you can unbolt, and there's a little uh, kit in, under the seat. Inside the owner's packet, lets you wash out that deck with your hose. You hook your hose to it, run the blades with the water going, washes out the deck. Pretty cool. Fuel tank all the way under the seat. New fancy battery. Again, you can look up the marketing materials on that. But look at how easy this is to get in here and clean. Uh, which you should do after you use your mower. Get in here, blow it out, sweep it out. Sweep out the engine bay. Don't let grass get on here. Start a fire. Let's think about it. And under here, this shows you part numbers for accessories, belts, all sorts of stuff. Pretty cool. You get these big turf master tires on these this is not the upgraded commercial model this is just your basic model this is the homeowner model the big upgraded tires on it uh, we already looked at the engine bay wide open Kohler 7000 series 
two exhaust pipes there. This is a V-twin. Everything's easy to get to if you need to change things out. Fuel pump's easy to get to. Oil filter's right here. Fuel filter. And then a little tow hitch guy right there. So that's pretty neat. Grass comes out the side. Big flap here. Big, huge opening for grass to come out. That prevents clogging. So you got a great little setup. Oh, check this out. Here's a, how you turn on your PTO. Starts your mower. That's how you turn it on. You can mow in reverse with these. That's what this button lets you do. And then I like this. The uh, choke is built into the throttle. So you can choke it with uh, one switch while you start. And then go back into throttle. It locks into the top throttle. This is where you want to operate at all times anyway. So it locks in there. And then this is your parking brake. I'm going to take it off. So that's parking brake off. So you can mow. Click this little black guy back here. That puts this in transport mode. The old mowers, there'd be a little pin here that you had to yank on. They're really hard and there was two of them. This one, you can roll this tractor by pushing it just by moving that lever back there. Yeah, pretty neat. So that's that. And then the steering wheel is adjustable. You can pull this guy, move your steering wheel towards you and away from you. And the seat's also adjustable. Lots of great features. Forward pedal, backwards pedal. I think they did a really nice job with this mower. And again, if you got hills, something like that, they're fantastic.